What's up, y'all? Hey, just want to make a video. Just let y'all know. Let me roll this window up. Just got over here at um, Knight's Yard over in Fairview, Oregon. And um, had a load to pick up. Had to uh, pick up a, uh, a load that uh, another driver T called. But right now, I'm sitting in the inspection line waiting to do my road ready and uh, I'm at about uh, 270,000 miles actually I'm at 269.535 so at 270 I have to do my road ready and um, just waiting for that truck to pull up there's another truck in the bay already I've been waiting here not too long I've been here for probably about um, probably about 15 minutes and uh, I'm up under a load. Uh, matter of fact, I got a load that I gotta take um, to Stanwood, Washington, and I gotta take another portion of that load to um, Ferndale, <clears throat> Washington. I've been to Ferndale before, and it's a little, it's a little ways out there. Stanwood's a little ways out there too from here. It's about 233 miles. So, yeah. Um, just chilling. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of trailers here. They're loaded, and some of them are empty. Matter of fact, I dropped off an empty trailer here. The weather here is kind of nasty, man. It's um, it was raining when I came here. It looks blue right there, but to the left of me, it looked gray, gray and cloudy. What's up, y'all? Hey, I just got back to my um, first stop. Got one more stop to go. Um, over here in Stanwood, Washington, waiting for a guy to come off load this cardboard that I got. See, you guys can see it behind me. So, just waiting for him to come off load that. Then I'll be going on to my uh, to my next drop. Um, I'll show you guys what it looked like on the outside um, where I backed in it, and then. Uh, and we'll be on our way to the next site. All right? Hold tight. Come outside. Just give you guys a little rundown of what it looks like. Um, this area ain't too bad. It's really country. Kind of homey like. Um, so I like the outdoors and the woods and stuff like that. Man, this your area. <laughs> But it rains a lot. God, it rains a lot here. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm actually on the steps right now, heading down. And uh, just show you guys where I'm at and how I came in here. So um, I came in this way right here, hit that turning lane right there, drove in, went down that little alleyway right there, and back into this dock right here so you guys see it little side dock that dock right there um, it's, it's, it's not the worst it's pretty good the guys finally came and just locked the truck in so I will uh, be right back all right hold tight all right I'm back so yeah came down here and uh, just drove up here a little bit and uh, bent my wheel so I can make my trailer turn this way right here. Turn so I can back into that door. Um, thought the side street was going to hurt me in it, but it didn't. And uh, so I backed straight up in there. You guys, look. Um, your rear tandem should be on that line or with that line right there. Um, right there. Tell you that you're pretty straight and lined up with that door. Your door, your open door, should be pretty uh, centered with that cushion right there on both sides. And I'll show you real quick. Um, if you look, you'll see how my doors are, are centered in on the cushion area. And um, you know, when you come out here, you'll see the white line right there. But nine times out of ten, most companies want you to hit the driver's side. Um, the driver's side white line with your tandems 
so that uh, so that you even with the door. And as um, when I was inside, I could tell I was eating because I looked right down at the uh, dock door and I could see that uh, I was pretty straight right there. All right, we get back in this truck. Man. It's kind of cold out here. So I'm back. Got my uh, camera in my hand this time. Oh man, got one more stop down in Ferndale. Now Ferndale's a little ways up. If you guys remember my last video where I told y'all I was like near Vancouver, British Columbia, it's it's a little ways up, so um, it's okay. Then after that, I'll pick up another load in uh, Sumner, and then I'll bring that on back down to California. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going good. Last night I slept at the uh, night yard and got up this morning and drove uh, 233 miles to get to this location right here. So, But anyway, I'll keep you guys informed on what's happening, and I'll show you guys when I get to the next site and offload, and uh, and then we'll go from there, all right? Oh, you know what? One more thing. Um, you know what I noticed sometime, man? And this is, this, is, this, is about, this is about backing. Some folks, some drivers... And I know it to be with night. Some of the drivers, man, you know, they don't want to come down here in little, t in little tight, small places like this right here to back up. I don't know if it's a challenge to them. They just don't want to do it. I don't know, man. But I don't know. Every time I get a load, if I pick up a T-call, if I do something, it's always some small place, either in the town or tight where somebody's like, I don't want to go there. It's hard back in there. And, you blah, blah, you must run and hit your, your curve on you know so that might be the case and then that might not be the case i don't know but anyway i just want to share that with you guys um i'll bring the rest of the video in a little bit what's up y'all got to my final drop and uh in the process of getting everything off and loaded um this is where we at right here truck is back here back down that dock right there so um, everything worked out about to head on over to my uh, next pickup down in Sumner Cal um, Sumner Washington it's not uh, a bad area here the area's pretty nice it's, you know people are pretty people are pretty cool I gotta say you know pretty much people are pretty cool um, but it's extremely rainy. It's it's super super duper wet here, and uh, I think I've been here maybe once. Not to this not to this receiver, but um, in this part of um, our beautiful country, once. And uh, I think maybe once I've seen it where it was sunny or where it was dry. So truck shaking because they're offloading those uh, offloading those pallets. But if you like the outdoors and you like hunting and fishing, I like fishing. I love fishing, actually. And um, you like being on the outdoors and being outside and stuff like that and green trees and, you know, <sighs> clean air. That's probably the place for you. I mean, I can stay here. If it Maybe it's just the season right now why it's raining. But I definitely probably could stay here. See, that's the cool thing about having a CDL. There are trucks up and down this freeway, man, 24-7. There's companies. Oh, oh yeah. There's a lot of logging here. There's a lot of um, um, logging, wood logging here. And, you know, there's a lot of paper mills, paper companies, wood companies, um, flatbed companies. So... With that CDL, man, you can go almost anywhere. So, I just wanted to give y'all this little update. Let y'all know what's happening. I'm just waiting here um, when this guy's done so I can get my paperwork. And I'll be out of here. just want to show y'all. Look how the truck is bent right here. Because it's tilted. Y'all see that? It's tilted because it's going downhill. Yeah. So... how close it is right there. I got it in there. And it's in there straight. Alright. Talk to y'all later. Starting to feel like a happy